Hey guys, Tess here, bringing you another video. So welcome back to Unranked to Diamond, the series that I take a Smurf account, fresh account, never played ranked before, and show you the adventure to Diamond. Uh, so we return to the series, six, one, uh, six wins, one loss. Uh, so that means we have three episodes to go, and you're including this one. And I'm still on for eight wins, two losses. That's kind of what I'm aiming for, to be honest, is eight wins, two losses. Um, anyway, I'm playing Gangplank, a champion that I've been playing quite a bit on my main account in Diamond. Uh, let's just quickly do... The runs and masteries, natural. Actually, I'll go bounty hunter probably. Um, oh god, what am I doing? I'm doing the wrong thing. Single target, assassin, uh, forty percent, bandit, precision, thunderlords. That's the right way. Okay, cool. Uh, no double edged. Uh, that one, and then mm, it kind. Of, this kind of depends who I'm against, because my E does slow. But globally, I will most likely throughout this game, if I play quite well, I will most likely kill all five of the enemies, so then I'll have 5% increased damage on all of them. Uh, we'll go for that for now, depending who we're laning against in whoever picks. Anyway, uh, Master Yi's picked through. I actually would recommend banning Master Yi at the moment. I don't rate him as a very good champion, but in the lower ranks and stuff like that, it's very easy for him to just get out of control because the counter and Master Yi, you just have to have coordinated CC. Lock him down with CC and hey presto, you'll probably kill him. Um, where it's hard to do that coordination in, in this type of rating. Anyway, the picks and bans are going off. So again, Cho'Gath mid, why are you so popular in low rating? I don't understand. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me, but anyway. So we've got Gangplank mid, Cho'Gath mid, uh, Gangplank top, Cho'Gath mid, Thresh support, enemy team, Ori mid lane, Master jungle, Shen top lane, and a vain AD carry. Final two picks, so Ari to carry, I'm going to predict like a Lucian. Again, I have no idea why Cogmore is banned, but he's banning Ezreal. Um, I will say, make sure you always keep up with patch notes. Uh, patch was like last night or the night before. Read the patch notes because like it tells you how the game is going to go. How like, oh God, Warwick. It tells you just like what's changing and like Cogmore isn't a pick anymore really. So it's a bit of a wasted ban, honestly. Um, and then final ban or pick for the enemy team is Janna. Okay. Team comp wise, I actually prefer the enemy team comp, not gonna lie. Uh, hopefully I can get really fed on Gangplank. If I can't, this game's gonna be very hard. I am purposely going Thunderlord Gangplank to try and get fed. A lot of people can go Grasp. Grasp is perfectly fine if you're content with just farming to late game. I need to get fed in this game, or I'm gonna try to anyway. It's gonna be a bit hard against the Shen, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, let's go over to loading screen and break down today's game. Okay, welcome to today's game. So as you can see, the enemy team has a 52.4% chance to win. And yeah, definitely the MMR of this account is going upward and onward. So let's break it down. We have an unranked Thresh. We have a gold 4 Warwick, a gold 3 Cho Geth, a gold 3 Caitlyn, and an unranked Gangplank as myself. The enemy team has a gold 3 Master Yi, a silver 2 Ari, a silver 1 Shen, a gold 5 Vayne, and an unranked Janna. I can tell you by looking at my actual screen that the Warwick, Cho Geth, and Caitlyn have gold borders, so they were gold last season. And yeah, the MMR is going up. I'm not really surprised. You know, I am aiming... And the Thresher's gold. He just loaded in last season. Um, I'm not really surprised that the MMR is going up. You know, I always aim to get gold after placements on Smurfs. Um, I'm going to roughly guess that we're going to get gold 5 if I just win, like, one or two more games out of the last three. Um, but if we win the remaining three, hell, we might even go, like, gold 3, which would be great. Uh, that would be awesome. Uh, but anyway, let's throw it over to the actual game because I think this loading screen is going to take quite a long time. Okay, welcome to the game. So I'm playing Gangplank, a uh, champion that I love. Uh, like, I honestly really do like this champion. I'm not amazing at him. I'm, I do have mastery level 5 on my main account, and I do play him on my main account quite a bit. But it's very hit or miss for me. Sometimes I'll get extremely fed on him, and sometimes I'll feed. So hopefully it, we go for the extremely fed one in this game. Interesting things to note. As I actually had to quickly run, I, the, the loading screen was probably quite short today because I had to quickly run because I heard the doorbell go and I had to get a delivery. Uh, but Shen took Thunderlords on Shen. Uh, I don't know why. Um, Grasp of the Undying is far superior on Shen because you literally... Shen, you're a tank, right? Shen, you're just uh, somebody to help your team, taunt them, save them with your ultimate, put the W down to avoid auto attacks. That's who you are. You're not a carry. Grasp of the Undying is just superior. You stay in lane longer, can farm longer against somebody that can harass you. Thunderlords means he's going in, like he's going wanting to fight me. Which I don't think's a good idea. But anyway, uh, that's his choice. Both AD carries have taken fervor. Uh, that's fine. Uh, both mid lane has taken Thunderlords. Uh, interesting note. 
Uh, Master Yi is called Samurai uh, Champion. Ooh. Uh, but he's got the chosen Master Yi skin, the Star Wars skin, not the Samurai Master Yi skin. That would make more sense. Uh, but anyway, howdy ho, Shen. How are you doing? Uh, he's even gone a Corruption Potion. I don't get that playstyle. But anyway, right, we're going to do my regular tactic of push. <laughs> that is uh, the signature Huzzy top lane strategy. Push them in, get caught, and die. <laughs> um, yeah, but hopefully we'll be okay. Bam. Alright, so it'll be interesting to see what he actually does playstyle-wise. Like, is he gonna just go for damage on me? Or is he actually gonna just, like, last hit? I don't know. It'll be interesting to find out. No, I knew I was gonna miss that one as well. Why did I queue it? And, uh, oh, hey. Quabam! Alright, good. Hmm, how low does Master Yi get? We're gonna do it, guys. Gotta risk it for a chocolate biscuit. I'm going to get caught and die, but oh well. What's life without a little risk? Wait, did he do it? No, he didn't. Oh well, I just like having vision of a jungler. There he is. How low are you? <gasps> Run, gangplank! Run! Oh ho 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 ho! Yo ho, yo ho. <laughs> I worked again! So I got red buff, and I got. Oh, that's brilliant, and I'm still ahead on CS. Alright, 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 alright. Good start. No, don't. Just take your blue. Like, don't give your blue up. You take it. XP, dude. Oh, you missed Taunt. You need it for XP. Don't get behind in your jungle by being really generous. Like, yes, as a laner, some people will be like, yeah, I'll take it, why not? Don't do it. Like, your jungler needs the XP. He didn't get XP for killing the enemy blue buff. He got XP for killing the Yi, which I don't think is the same. Uh, one more water attack and I'm going to go back. Oh, I missed. Actually, we're going to stay, actually, because I want to get Sheen first item. But yeah, like, I do that strategy all the time in top lane nowadays. I don't know what it is with, like, people not, like, walking into bushes while doing buffs. Like, I do that on my diamond account. That's just that's not just this rating. Just want to point that out. Do that on my main account all the time. Just wander over. The top lane that doesn't ping that I'm, like, missing or something. And then I just get randomly first blood and a, a, a buff. And what, what can this Shen do to me now? Like, oh, okay, Moom. I missed. Hey, I'm going to go back. No point in staying around. Um, because being Oom against the Shen is a bit meh. Because he can taunt you, but my oranges will let me get rid of that, like, straight away. But I definitely want to make sure that I have it available. Uh, I'm going to run up to top lane. Yeah, you sure? Oh, I'm double... Okay, this Shen does not know how to CS. Okay. Um, I... Okay, yeah, me running is completely fine because he's not CSing very well, so I just get back to top lane and then I can use teleport around the map if I need to. Especially against the Shen, you want to have your teleport up just in case he ults somebody so I can follow the ultimate. Obviously, yes, I'm Gangplank as well, so my ultimate does follow them anyway. And I could stay top lane if I wanted to. But... Um... No, that's confused me a bit with Shen's last sitting. I was expecting him to be ahead of me, and I was going to say, even though he's ahead of me in CS, I'd still prefer to not teleport, but then... Oh, he missed. Oh. Alright, we'll use the flash to get out. I wasn't expecting a gank. I was like, should I ward straight away? Nah, and, but then I needed to. And I used the, the W at the wrong time, because he actually didn't land the taunt. I'm expecting to get camped a bit. Oops. Come on, I'm wanting to try and bait out the flash. Warwick should be able to get that kill. 
Ult him? Oh, he doesn't have ult. Sorry. Okay, I still have teleport in all this, so I can go back and use TP. Anyway, I want to get level 6. Is Musty actually staying? Level 6, come on! I need level 6. Uh oh. Alright, craziness going top lane. Okay, I'm level 6 now. That took ages. I missed the cannon. Uh. Alright, I'm going to go for the Shen. In a second. I kind of expected Warwick to be there, to be honest, not Ari. Oh, I'm going to use teleport, why not? I know I said I didn't want to use teleport against Shen. Actually, maybe I won't. Eh, uh, maybe I need to. <laughs> I'm thinking I need to because I'm behind an XP. Um, and I don't like being behind an XP. Should be dead. Wait, did he not die? How didn't he die? I thought corrupting was gonna get him. Damn, that sucks. All right, they got a kill on Ari. That's good. Uh, I don't know how Shen didn't die. Right, I'm just gonna try and get his teleport because I don't like you know my enemy top lane having teleport when I don't have it myself. They are doing dragon. There's no real pressure. That the Shen can go to that I'd miss out on. Okay, cool. He used teleport. Now I've got to be careful of here because Masty's red buff is up. Uh, so we're going to throw the pink over there. Yeah, damn. I'm really sad that I didn't get that kill. Usually you don't want to use Gangplank ult in your own lane unless you 100% know it's going to be a kill. Uh, so yeah, Shen ult does, is here. He can use it. Oh, that affects Q. Okay, that's good to know. I guess it kind of counts as an auto attack. Um, spell damage wise, anyway. So, later in the game, I'm going to try and do some fancy three man barrels. I see him. Like, I don't need that amount of spam. <laughs> uh. Are right, they going for bot tower? Like, CS lead is huge in bot lane. CS lead is good in mid lane. CS lead in top is good. We're winning this lane of this game pretty easily. Let's throw that there because, you know... Oh. Shen just used Torn. We can kill them. We can kill them. Just kill the Shen. Why not? Ah, uh, whatever. Where's ye? He got away. God damn it. Oh well. That happens. Um, Warwick is going the Devourer build himself. So is the Master Yi. Uh, got ultimate soon. Caitlyn got a double kill. This game is looking pretty good. And like as a Gangplank. You technically don't need to win lane. And you can carry the game. Like I've, I've carried the game as Gangplank. As like with getting one kill in lane. Gangplank's that type of champion. He's incredible. And, like, he's just got so much late game pressure with barrels. That is just really fun to play. Uh oh. I think there's some overextending from my team. Yeah, she's dead. I don't know why she was there by herself. Like, Thresh already backed out. She should have just left ages ago. 
Uh, they can't do dragon for that kill, so that's... And she was dead. Like, no. I'm not wasting my ultimate. Alright, still ahead by like 25 in top lane. Bot lane's lead is incredible. That's a massive CS lead. If you help faster, she survive? No, she wouldn't have. Uh, let's just ignore it. I don't mean to come across arrogant, as by the way, in that fact. It, it, he, like, yeah, Masti, he, she was dead. Like, there's no point Warwick saying that because it's just wrong. I'll go for a three-man barrel when I get a couple barrels in a second. Do I need to use ultimate? Like, I could go for the kill, but why do I need to? Alright, we'll put it there. I only use ultimate when you actually have to use it. Like, there. Boom, got the slow. Two assists. Perfect. If I put it where Warwick ulted her, the lantern would have just got her away. Right, yeah, top lane again. Keeps coming top lane. It doesn't really get anything for it. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> I like doing that. It completely catches people off guard because you, you use the uh, barrel ignite on two barrels and then while that is going off, you set off a third barrel and people are like, wait, where did that damage come from? It's like, ha the secret barrel I put down while it was going off. It's like an advanced tactic on Gangplank that people have only recently worked out. Um, but yeah, pretty good. All right, I don't know where Master Yi is. I'm a bit tentative here. Yeah, why did I guess? Alright. I just gotta kind of expect him to be top lane, I think, especially when I'm like in their territory. He's more or less always been here. Good thing to know. There is a lot of spam pinging. What the hell? Like, that is one thing I've noticed with low rating compared to high rating. The amount of spam pinging that happens in low rating is insane. Like, I will, if someone's missing, I'll go ping ping, or maybe ping 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 if it's like really urgent. But that was like 10 pings. Like, that was insane. There's no need. It just creates headache, to be honest. Charm. And Warrickle. And Threshook. And dead without the Shenot hitting. Cool. Shenot doesn't have ult now. <laughs> Why didn't you run into that, my man? Um... I don't know why he did that. I couldn't really get the kill, but that was weird. Like, I, maybe he's just testing his damage, but he's a Shen. Right, let's try and bait out the teleport once again, because, again, I don't like having... Well, I've got my teleport up, so it's not that big a deal. Yeah, so I've got my teleport up, and he doesn't have his. Nice Sue, and probably Master Yi's on his way top lane. I'm going to predict. Because he was running, like, straight up. And whenever, as I said, whenever I'm in their territory throughout this game, he always tends to be top lane. So far, so good, though. Um, this game is easy-peasy. In the fact that, as a gangplank, I want to get late game. That is kind of what I do. Well, Master Yi. That's why it's just easy to ban him. He can go, like, too crazy. And then the moment that they do well, Cho'Gas in all chat. Like, why? Oh, 
All right, I need to actually start killing this guy. Scared of uh, gank coming. It's done, guys. Oh, okay. We're gonna just mute this guy straight away. Jesus. Again, I'm just somebody that mutes people that annoy me. It's the easiest way to like go up in rating, I believe. Ah, Thrush got it. No, why'd you stop? I was coming in. Oh well. Alright, we got our first ult upgrade. Now, that was a wasted TP. I hate wasting TP like that. Oh well. Gonna go back straight away, buy the upgrade and also buy boots. Buy a pink ward. And run back up to top lane. So Shen's built a Sunfire and now a Giant's belt, probably a dead man. Um, Caitlyn has to be extremely careful. No turret and it's a vein. Like, she will die in a 2v1 here. Um, that'll be a good kill. If they can kill her again. Nom. Nom, 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 nom. And Shen is there. Uh oh, that's actually bad. You need to kill Yi. Kill Yi. A. Now they can go back in and kill them. Okay, Vayne. Like, they're killing... Like, the thing I don't get is, like, someone like Cho'Gath says it's over when, like, they just, like, pretty much won the game by themselves. They just kill, like, the whole enemy team. And it's like, oh, it's over, guys. It's like... What? Oops. They see, like, done, huh? Like, it's just a stupid thinking. And it's one thing, I would say, to think that like, it is an example, like, it's one thing for me to say something on a video and just say it in real life. It's one thing to actually type it. There's no point typing it. Like, I, there's no logic in that. You may think it, like, in real life on your computer sitting, at, you know, by yourself playing, thinking, oh, this game's over. That's completely fine. It doesn't harm anybody you thinking that out loud. But typing it in game can get doubt in your teammates' heads. You don't want that. Yeah, we get the turret for free. Um, Caitlyn got away from Master Yi. Cool. Shen's going back top lane. CS wise, this is incredible to me. Like, I presume, like, I, I'm a, still a big advocate for don't play Vayne. Like, I'll have a campaign up saying don't play Vayne. She's a champion that's extremely hard to play, and most Diamond players can't play her. So just don't play her. Like, it's that simple. Just don't. Just leave her alone. That's probably the reason why this differential is so big like i thought my differential was big you know i'm 60 odd cs up she's even more <laughs> she's like 80 cs up that's insane at 20 minutes that's one thing you have to think this is only 20 minutes in the game yeah like mid lane i guess this is more like what this rating should be chogath build confuses me like what <laughs> chogath mid going roa frozen heart uh, Weird. Okay, I'm expecting Master Yi, I'll be honest. Warwick's with me though, so that's giving me the confidence to push up. His red buff's up. I'm trying to bait him. Yeah. Probably not worth like putting an ult on Shen, to be honest. He's too tanky just to burst. Ooh. I wonder if he'll give this to me. Oh my god, he will. I love you. I love you! Well, we did. Run! 
No, don't go that way. He's about to... He, she should have gone like this way. But oh well, she should survive. Like, just run to the teammates. Run! Good heal, good heal, good heal. Oh, played. Good job. That was a really messy team fight. We shouldn't have taken that team fight. Like, we just used Warrico on a Shen, so we didn't have Warrico. If we had Warrico that fight, it would have been easily won because, like, we would have just locked down Ari or Vayne. That's their damage. It was a messy team fight. We should have taken it. So, whatever. But yeah, me as Gangplank this game, I've got no kills. But this is, I, it's like, as I said to you earlier, either I get really fed or I feed, this is the middle ground for me, I guess. It's the one that I farm quite well, but I don't do a lot until late game. Um, and that is, is kind of a standard Gangplank game too. That does happen quite often as Gangplank. Um, you just can't find the kills, unfortunately. And, you know, Shen's been low several times. I just haven't got them, but that's fine. My damage will still be insane. I've just got IE. Um, that's the wrong ping. That's the one I want. But yeah, we're good. We're good. Just got to kill Master Yi this game and we win. It's, it's pretty much that simple. Don't have ultimate yet. Kind of baiting for top lane. He's on his way. Alright, I'm going to go Ha. He must be there. Cha! Wait. Where did he go? Oh, there. Will I get a kill? Nope. I nearly got all. We need to back off for my ult. No, I died. I didn't press W. Why didn't I press W? No, I could have lived. I didn't press W. I didn't think I'd die. Meanwhile, in mid lane, uh, Caitlyn. Weird game. Like, we're not grouping, but we're still doing quite well. Um, get the inhib. Go on. Get it. And now kill her. Quite bad. Uh-oh. Never mind. I wouldn't have done that. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she's going to get away. She needs the trap and E. Oh my god, she's a god. Honor, Caitlyn. Well played. Well played, Kate. Alright, I'm proven wrong. Well played. <laughs> Easy. Well. But yeah, it's unfortunate I didn't have my ultimate for that team fight. That would have been great if I had it, like, actually up the whole team fight. We could have turned that and then my team probably wouldn't have died. Oh, I'm so tempted to TP there. <laughs> it's like, hiya! Poof. Anyway. No, this, so far, so good. This Caitlyn's playing well. I'm going to give her an honor at the end of the game. Um, I don't know, like, sometimes it's hard to say, like, is she actually belonging in this rating or is she a smurf? Because, like, her CS is really good. And she's 4-1 with a crazy amount of pressure. Like, she's over 100, C well, nearly 100 CS lead over her lane opponent at 24 minutes. That's... I don't know, not really heard of, I guess. But I guess it could happen. We don't need to be mid lane. We should be like top lane. No point being mid. We've already got super minions. Come top lane. Do, 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 do. Hi, Thresh. Not Thresh. Shen. <gasps> Do you see that damage? Oh my god, I just hit 900 and... Holy moly. Yep, I'm fine with not getting any kills on Thresh. Doesn't really matter. Like, I'm Gangplank. I I'm, I'm just gonna... Get very fed. Alright. That wasn't great, but whatever. Yeah, dog pile! 
<laughs> Dog pile. Alright, bait this taunt because I don't really care about it. Oh, I didn't even get attacked. No, I need to be I need to be even KDA. Hey, even KD. Well, even KD. No, I keep going. Why would we back off? Oh, I died for it! No! I didn't think I was in range, but apparently I was. Anyway, GG well played, there's another win. 4 3 11, just farming. Like, this was a bit of an odd game, but I guess they have them. It was like a perfect game for Gangplank. I didn't carry it at all. Like, I, I can I can contributed. Uh, but anyway, let's go into the outro screen and see how uh, everybody did in terms of damage and stuff like that. But yeah, good game. Um, so that makes us now 7 wins, 1 loss. Um, pretty good. Congratulations, S minus grade for my teammates. You granted a chest. All right, cool. Uh, so the crafting system is now in. I think by this video coming out, you would have seen the crafting, um, the crafting video that I did, the unboxing video. Anyway, we went four three eleven. We did two hundred two farm, twelve point nine k gold. So Caitlyn was ahead of gold of me by a hundred gold. That's it. That sucks. <laughs> I like getting the most. But anyway, look at damage. I'm pre predicting Caitlyn's going to do the most. Oh, never mind. Uh, okay, I did a lot more than I thought. Caitlyn didn't actually do that much. So I guess uh, I guess it makes sense. Caitlyn was mainly split pushing and getting towers and inhibitors when we were team fighting. So I did like a lot more damage than everybody in this game. Where I guess I was involved in like every team fight. So I guess that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, really fun game. Seven wins, one loss. I'm still going to go for the eight wins, two losses. That's kind of what I'm aiming for. If I go nine and one, then great. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I will definitely be playing more Gangplank throughout uh, this series because I really enjoyed to play him. And today, it, I don't know, it wasn't a very, like, involved game. I didn't actually feel that I was doing a lot. Uh, but anyway, like the video if you like it, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll, subs and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.